Hey everyone, today I'm going to make a video here just doing some organization again. I was surprised that so many people actually liked my last video of me organizing the tool shelf in the basement. You know, that video there, watching it myself, I'm, I'm actually surprised people like that video. It's kind of painful for me to watch because I realize now that video I was extremely tired and I was also extremely dehydrated. So... I can't believe how much I lagged that on and how many things I said wrong. Like, rewatching it, I couldn't believe that I called sheet metal screws sheetrock screws. Well, tonight we're getting a snowstorm of 6 to 12 inches. It is now the morning of the 23rd. It is about 3 a.m. I was going to come out here and do some snow blowing before rush hour starts, you know, because it's nice and peaceful and quiet. It's still snowing out. I went out last night. Went for a drive, snowing so hard that you couldn't even see anything. So, yeah, I came in here to snow blow, and I realized I have to move things out of my way to even get the snow blower out of here. So, I've obviously got to do some organization here in my shed. I consider this a shed because a car can't fit in here. I'm using it as a shed. Basically, only a lawn tractor could fit in here. I'm actually going to shut the door behind me. It's cold out. And now it's out of the wind. So I have a few boxes over here. Those two Tupperware bins that there's nothing in them. And I have so much stuff around here that should be put in it just in my way. So I want to, I know I can organize this where everything can be brought out of here without moving things out of the way. So that's what I'm going to try to figure out in here tonight. Yep. There's also a lot of space in the attic that I could probably occupy. See all those boards up there? There's nothing sitting on top of those. Now with the door shut, if I put the ladder there, I could probably get stuff in the attic. Yeah. It's only built with a 2x4, but that can still hold some light things could be thrown up there. Yeah, let's see what we can do. Hmm. I remember a few years ago, last time I cleaned in here, this whole wall against the house was, was kind of moldy. I sprayed it, and look at that, the house turned red. The house isn't even red anymore, but I suppose it was at some point, and because the garage was a afterwards thought attached to the back of the building, they never painted it brown like the rest of the house. The house is like a reddish brown. It's not that brightest red anymore. I'm the one who actually changed it brown because it was a similar color, and the house needed a paint job. So things like this. This is Christmas stuff. Why does this have to be here? Also, so first thing back in this corner, I was thinking I have these shelves here, which aren't really doing much. You see, I have like the stupidest things on them, and there's so much shelf space here just not being occupied. Like this Christmas thing here, that can be thrown up in the attic. Stereo can probably stay there. No, I'm actually going to move that because I was thinking this shelf would be good for the chainsaws. I just put the guards on them and I can leave them on a nice shelf ready to grab because I, I now got there's four chainsaws in here and they're in random spots. I have the one right here, which is my oldest one. This is from the 90s. It's not a name brand, but it works pretty well. I have there's a craftsman one underneath that one which is a really good saw. That's what I've been using in most of my videos lately. Craftsman one. I just bought that one. I haven't used that one yet. That's a Husqvarna one. It's got a massive blade. I bought one that has the large teeth, so it takes a bigger bite out of it. It'll go much faster, because I have like 50 trees on the ground that I need to process into firewood. Definitely worth it. Free heating. And I also got a fourth chainsaw there, the electric one. Nothing wrong with that, except can't go far from the house because it needs a cord. And I've never tried, well, I can't say I never tried one. I, I have never owned a battery operated one, but I have tried one. And for the amount, usually when I go out in the woods to cut firewood, I, I make like a whole weekend out of it. So the battery one would just slow me down because it would 
probably die every 20 minutes. While the gas one, it can cut for like a half hour straight, but you don't have to wait for it to recharge. Just bring the fuel and oil back out there. Also, something else I'm thinking about using for storage. See this big stand-up freezer? There's absolutely nothing in there. Why can't I put things in there for the time being? I'm not using it as a freezer. To be honest, when I bought this place, a lot of the stuff was here. Not the good tools, not but these shelves, all these nuts and bolts, that freezer, that kind of stuff was here. Because this was an abandoned house when I got it. It was kind of trashed and ransacked, if you know what I mean. But there was still... Whoever trashed it was like more of a vandal. They didn't even steal things that were worth something. But when I got this place, this refrigerator, I opened it up and it was filled with hundreds of boxes of seemingly new Christmas lights. But they weren't new. Whoever owned this house wrapped them up, put the plastic back over them, tied them up. They did it so well, I actually thought the factory were the ones who did it. But yet I kept plugging them in and almost none of the sets worked. None of the Christmas lights worked. I don't know why they even packaged them back up. The people who used to live here, they were obsessed with holiday decorating. Um, their file cabinets showed during the winter months. They had like a $1,400 electric bill. And I have a $300 electric bill currently. And more than half of that is the electric water heater I bought. And... Before these recent days, those power bills weren't that bad 10 years ago. I can't believe that they had so many Christmas lights, but I found old pictures of the house. Every part of the property was covered in lights. And I don't know why. I, I have a highway near my house, but can't see the house from the highway. And the road, not many cars go by on the actual road, so they were decorating for themselves, not just... People driving by. Inside the house, every door frame had Christmas lights around it. I've never seen it to that level. But yet, most of it didn't even work. I think mice or something was chewing them. Such a pain in the butt to get them off. I remember some of the pine trees near the house when I was cutting them down because they were dead. There was Christmas lights so old that the tree actually grew through them. That was such a pain in the butt to get those off. Yep. Also, things like this, I bought these bags of salt and stuff to try to help with the ice dams, but I just roof rake, and that seems to solve it. It's a lack of insulation in the house. I I had someone do tons of spray foaming, but I could only do that in the attic part of the house. Part of the house has a, vault, a vaulted ceiling, and that a ceiling would have to be removed to insulate it, so I just live with it in remove the snow on the edge of the roof with a rake and that prevents it from happening but when it does sneak up on me is when we get like one inch of snow or another inch of snow because an inch of snow a roof rake can't really do but as it builds up that's when it can get a little ahead of me right there that's a winch line or a uh Winch puller is what they call it, but it's a come along. I carry that with me when I'm out off-roading during mud season. I don't have a winch line, but I feel like that could potentially help me out of a situation. Up here is a bunch of pesticides in this box. There's an empty box, a whole empty milk crate, a whole another empty box. You see how I can definitely make space in here. I know I can. And look at this here. There's a whole paint tray. Paint stirs. I can get rid of that. That must be from the old people who used to live here. Also, this 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 can be literally put in storage. This doesn't have to be taken up my space. That's a whole stack of license plates. Only reason I'm keeping those around is I was thinking I could build something out of them. Over here on this metal shelf, up top is a whole bunch of things like spray paints, which should probably be in the house, not out here in the cold. And look at this shelf. It's just full of junk. Don't you think I could repurpose this with much better things? 
and the things that are on it are things I don't use on a daily basis. And some of the things aren't even mine. I just haven't removed them. It was like the things I absolutely knew I wouldn't use, I threw out immediately. Like put them on the side of the road and that, that got taken eventually. Look at all these weird posters that are in here. These were all in here when I got the place. And you see inside the plastic, there's actually black mold growing. There's other weird ones in here too. Let me show you the one over here with the slaughtered pigs hanging. Or no, those are, yeah, they're pigs. See that one up here? International stock food. The quickest hog fattener in the world. And someone like made a frame. I think it's actually, I think they put that on the wall and the frame is an afterthought because I tried to remove it once. Yeah, you see, they put this directly on the wall with a piece of plexiglass. So if I took this off, that would probably just fall out. It's like part of the wall. And there's another one here. This log splitter works good. You can probably tell I've been using it. It's got snow on it. I just recently put this piece of wood on the bottom of the door because this door, it shuts straight, but the floor is so crooked, there'd be an inch gap on that side. So ever since I did that, I haven't been trapping mice anymore. Although I, I think they can still get in here. There are other holes. They just probably haven't discovered it. But the first part of organizing for me is what what am I absolutely never going to use? And that can be thrown out. Like, see this WD-40 here? Let me see. Uh, I will actually use this. Yeah, it still smells good. It's depressurized, so I put a hole in the top of it so I can just dump it on the projects I'm doing. This is two-stroke oil. That's kind of old, but I think it'll still work, but... I'm not going to trust that in the new chainsaw. Something leaked all over here that I have to clean up. Um, next shelf. Look at this. Two locks that I don't have the keys for. But why am I holding on to them? A really old sponge. That can still be used. Right there it looks like a sterno can. This is an old oil lamp. That's really cool. And I don't want to throw it out. But why am I letting it take up valuable space right here next to the door that I can I should have things that I use all the time here I have an empty container of gunpowder here that can go in the garbage I use that for a burn test video a while back this right here was dropped by a guard uh, guardrail installing crew good twine they were using this to make sure they were installing it straight look at this that's a bunch of um Chain, I think, is for hanging some kind of light fixture. This I bought on the Walmart discount shelf. Two-stroke oil. That's brand new. Um, yeah, I, like, all that shit should be together. Like, you see, I just got some more two-stroke oil so I don't run out because I have a lot of jobs to do with that chainsaw and an extra blade for it there. I have so many trees to cut up that I will probably go through all this. And I'm hoping that new chainsaw makes easy work of it since it should go through everything at least twice as fast. It's got a bigger blade and it's got really big teeth. The engine is way more powerful. See, this next shelf is a grinder, a bunch of cutting discs, another grinding disc. There is brazing rods. No, well, there are welding rods. And you see what I mean? I could throw all of this stuff in a box and I wouldn't miss it for a long time. I don't use it. Right here's paint. Again with the paint. I have never used that color paint. It's probably bad. This is from the front of the car. It fell off one of the sensors. Down here is an old strobe light I used to have in the windshield of the car before I actually got a good light bar. I used this as a paint stir at one point. 
Here's a file down here that should be in the toolbox. There's a respirator with probably filthy filters. Down here is a brand new paintbrush. And this is going to get destroyed, probably already is destroyed in the... Yeah, that's really old. I can almost guarantee this is ready to go in the trash. I didn't even buy that. It's got the red paint of the house on it. Brake fluid. Is that the right kind for my car? I didn't buy that. More paintbrushes. That should all go in my basement. That's where I keep my then my uh, painting stuff. Right here's an old phone holder. I removed that for some reason. Oh, that was the one that used to do this. Yeah, see how it's stuck? It doesn't oh, reopen. The spring's broken. Why am I holding on to this? That's the first item that can go right in the trash. These are filter cartridges for the solar fountains in a pond. This should go up in that box with the pesticides. Here's a really cool knife. Very, very greasy and dirty, the end of it. That has to be really cleaned up. It's amazing the blade isn't rusting. What's it made out of? See the corrosion right there, how it's green? Maybe it's copper underneath that plating? I don't know, that's weird. Look at the bottom shelf, it's all crumpled and destroyed. Yeah, the whole shelf is destroyed. What do you think? Did the guy you used to live here hit it with his tractor or something when he was pulling it in? Maybe. This thing can't stand on its own. It's actually attached to the wall on the top. And right here, I have some tools right in the entrance that I use all the time. Why do I have a pool noodle holding up that space? I only held on to that pool noodle because I thought I could put it on my ladder before I got up on things. You know, so it wouldn't damage things you're leaning it against. This pool noodle can be thrown up in the attic. Uh, yeah. Also, this little cart here, it's full of all kinds of junk that I don't use on a daily basis. Well, the sockets, I use those all the time. Those belong here. That lamp doesn't belong here. Why is that lamp here? I think the only reason I, I didn't part with that is because it says 22 karat gold. But it's it's getting in my way, and I'm probably not going to be the one to end up selling that. So that's going to go to a donation bin. Yeah, I got to get a pile of things that I don't want but aren't junk. Bought this for when I'm not home in the summertime. See, I always love those discount deals at Walmart. This, again, this should probably go with my pesticides. This can be in the cold garage because there's no battery in that. See, I love those discount sales. That's the time to stock up on garden stuff when they're trying to get rid of it in the fall so they can fill it with winter stuff. Just like I just bought all my Christmas stuff for next year. It just got all the Christmas sales. And look at this. This was an awesome deal. You see this? That is a crazy price. 40 bucks for three pairs of gloves? That's insane. I would never pay that. I'm usually using these Dollar Tree ones. But the only reason I ended up buying these is because I bought these from Olympia Sports when they were going out of business. I got them for 90% off. Even forgot those were in here, so good thing I'm cleaning. These are all straps, like um, kayak straps. The reason I have so many is because I'm paranoid. Um, when I put kayaks on the roof of my vehicle, I don't own any myself. I usually borrow them from my grandfather. I'm paranoid, so I'll put like three sets of them on each kayak. I'm so paranoid of them falling on the car behind me and getting sued for it. This right here, those, why are these here taking up space? Those should go in the shed. Those belong to my 1980s snowblower, which is temporarily retired. Um, Yeah. I don't, maybe I could tighten them up and put them on the new snowblower. The, the other one had smaller, fatter tires, but maybe 
somehow they could fit on that one. Also, in my comments of my snowblower video, people had a great idea. They told me they sell weights for the front end, and that's why it has those holes on the bucket. Maybe it would run better with more weight, because I mentioned that's why I love my old one. Also, here's my... These, these I use. This, I don't even know if this is still good. It probably is. Yeah, it probably is. This right here is an industrial mold killer that's in this bottle. It was $300 a gallon. I didn't pay for it. The guy who I hired to do some mold cleaning gave me a few gallons of it. He said, this stuff you can't buy as a homeowner. It will stay in the environment for the life of the building. The stuff you can buy as a homeowner, you spray it, and as it dries, it crushes the mold spores, killing them. Then it's inactive as soon as it dries. You're not supposed to have that as a homeowner. Here's some wood stain. Stain can be out in a cold garage. I gotta find a spot where I can put paints and stuff all in a centralized area. Maybe this top shelf will be all my paint stuff. I also got blow torches up here. This is also my blow torch stuff. So the these can go with the the blow torches. That's a, a related thing. Another thing, a pesticide. Look how it's all look how it's all swelled. It doesn't look like it's gonna leak. Nope, not leaking. I just bought that. And I guess you can't keep it in the garage or it's not leaking, so I guess it'll thaw and be fine. I just bought that for next year's vegetable garden. That was also on sale. I also have a container of fish manure. It smells so disgusting, but that was also on sale. This is my... That's my get rid of bin. That's not trash. So, yeah, I'll put the proper things in the recycling bin. Here's another old brush that was probably the last owner. You see, they used it multiple times. White paint and the red paint, it looks like. It still feels like it could be used, but if I ever did that, that could actually mess up the color tone. This brush right here looks brand new, but it's not. It's got that reddish color in it, which could mess it up. But it's such a nice brush. Can't, I'm not going to throw that one out. This right here could be handy for me. You know what this is? You screw this to a wall. And it can hold, like, any handled thing, like a rake or a broom. This ladder's taking up all kinds of space. If we can get that against the wall or something, I can probably park this wagon against right here. There's a lot of empty space on this shelf. Behind these big items is a lot of space. Like, look at this. It's really nice. I like how it goes together. You see how it has that nice opening? That jaw opening. This is also going to get donated. Where did it... Uh, yeah, that lamp is what I was going to get rid of. That's... I don't need that. This is awesome. This is pretty cool, too. To Kentucky Distilleries. I like that. It should not be in the garage, though. I have so much wiper fluid in here that I had to start putting on the floor because I stocked up on Rain-X, which is a really good product, but people were right. It, it actually eventually clogs up your lines in the car, so when you put the blue stuff in, it immediately works better. It cleans out the lines, but the, the blue stuff originally I stopped using because people said it's cor more corrosive and it can ruin the paint on your car, but I learned you got to kind of go back and forth a bit. Between those. Another discount item I bought. That's for when I'm lazy and I don't want to use my actual uh, normal car wax. But that, that right there is worth the time. It works a lot better. Look at this. So many more pesticides up here. Look at that. I can push this back. Wait. Why is pet odor deodorizer in here? Really old deodorizer. It's probably not even good anymore in that cardboard box.
starting fluid. I bought that. I need that. See this? We can push this back. Push this back. Look at this. We're making a lot of space. What's in this jar? Hold on. We'll get this open. Oh, that's kind of cool. But another item that doesn't need to be in the garage. We need the poo drinking glasses. That's really nice. You know, there was a time that I would keep any collectible looking cup like that. But is it really worth taking up my space for a decade until I eventually sell it? I, don't, I really don't think it is. I had a bunch of McDonald's cups that I ended up just donating because it was in my space all the time. Look at this. This is fertilizer. Look at what a mess this box is. But, yeah, well, it's actually still wet and damp, but it's not leaking. I will use that in the vegetable garden next year. It's still good as a fertilizer. There's even more of it back here. More flower fertilizers. We got a whole box of Miracle Grow motor oil. That's that needs to not be up there. Um, what's what's that container in the back? Is that a pesticide? Because I want to keep everything. I can't read what that is. Maybe it's paint thinner by the shape of the container. All the garden stuff can be up here in the top shelf, and my oils and starting fluids can be down here. What is this? Mineral oil. I'm not even sure what you would use that for. But I'm going to keep it. Here's more flower fertilizer. And that's actually leaking. I'll have to keep that in mind and use that up first. Here's the other car wax. Keep the car wax together. It's a giant thing of lamp oil. Yeah, citronella oil. Torch oil. That can go up top there. Um, Windex. Refill of Windex. Oh, it's actually icy. It's like a slushy. It's only half frozen. That can go up top there, too. And we just found a spot for this right here. This can go up in here. All right. This right here is a. Oh, look at that. It's frozen. This is expensive. I, I did that as an as-seen-on-TV thing. You know, you ever see that? It was $19.99. I went on their website years later to order. I paid 30 bucks, But I got, but I got to, you know, buy one, get one free. It's not worth the money. I got to tell you that. It is great. Apply it right before you go off-road. Then when you get home the next in a couple days, it, you spray off your car. All the mud comes off. It looks like a brand-new car. But it doesn't last more than a few weeks. But I got to admit, it's much better than this for spraying it off after getting covered in mud. All right, so all my car waxing stuff can go over here. Spray paint goes over here. What's this? House wash. This was because I was going to try to kill the mold growing all over the house before I repainted it. Yeah, I had to repaint the house because it was covered in black mold. I now remember that. I actually forgot that. But I decided not to after talking to a company that paints houses. They advised me, just paint over it. And I put an additive in the paint that kills mold. Look at this, a desk lamp. I'm going to donate that. I have an identical one down in my office. And here's another one. This guy must have got these things somewhere at high discount or for free. Because when I got the place, there was like a dozen of those things. All right, so the car wax can go back here. Taller items can be out here. Here is actual car wash. Look, it's almost frozen. Yeah, it is cold out. That's why I shut the door. It's like 12 Fahrenheit. Here's some hand sanitizer. That can go with the car stuff. Eventually, I can put that in the car. I always keep hand sanitizer in the car. 
And it's and it's not even because I'm a germaphobe. It's, I can just put it on when my hands get. It removes oil, grime, and I just wipe it on my pants. I don't really care. Here's some nice lamp wire. I love that with the it has it's clear so you can actually see the copper inside it, but it's for like a lamp. That will go over on that shelf where there's some more uh, electrical related things. Perfect. This is paint. See all the Chinese characters all over it? This actually works really good if you have to write on a black surface. It's oil-based. Oil-based paint markers. They work really good, actually. Guess why I bought them? When I, when I first got my car as a teenager, I thought it would be cool to highlight the name of the tire. You know, because they used to, all tires, the name in sidewalls used to be, you know, white back in the day, and I thought that was cool. I did it on the inside of the tire because I thought it may look like garbage. Good thing I did it on the inside of the tire where you couldn't see it. It all rubbed off after one rainstorm. So that, it doesn't hold up on a tire. You know, a tire rubs off. It's not the paint's fault. But they had it advertised as a paint mark, as a tire marker. Which I guess it is good for. I guess I guess what they meant by tire marker is like if you're a tire dealer or a tire store, you can write on it and it comes off, so the customer doesn't have to live with that forever. I guess that is what it's good for. Uh, motor oil can go over here. What is this? Watch, I'm gonna open this someday, and there's gonna be something really weird in it. Is this some kind of automatic sewing needle? It's weird. Also a screwdriver and some tools. Old-fashioned tools, to be honest. A light bulb. That doesn't have to be here. This can go over on my tool shelf. I'm not going to toss that one. Here's some bug spray. Almost empty. That can go over here near the car stuff because that'll probably get put back in the car. This one right here, 15% deep. Oh, it's even from the discount shelf. $4 to $1.50. This one... I would have to probably burst to get it to work because it's still pressurized, but it's all clogged and jammed up. And look at that. Ten minutes of work, and look at I just organize these shelves, and look how much extra room I have to get things off the floor now. Awesome. That right there is a for a windshield. See this thing here? I thought I could maybe use it as some sort of insulation. That's why I kept it. I even bought a bunch of them that were a dollar in the discount shelf. They're just sitting as clutter. Why, why do you think this is here? Why do you think this extra piece of plywood is screwed to the wall with the oil tank's pipes going through it? I don't see a purpose to that. I really want to know what's hidden in there. I think there's a million dollars hidden in there. Imagine that. Imagine if there was something awesome hidden in there. But I, I can't remove it because the pipe is going through it. I guess we'll find out in 10 years when this tank needs to be replaced. And look at that. I, I, I barely used any fuel this year. Whole heating season, I only used less than a half a tank. By now, we would have used two since I started using wood burning. See that case right there? That goes to the yellow chainsaw. Why is that one not put away? I need more organization in my life. Right here. Why am I keeping old, dry-rotted wiper blades from my car? That might be why because they were actual Toyota ones. And I didn't want to have to buy the whole thing again if I decided to go back to it, because you can just... But I did go back to it, and I forgot these were in here, so I don't need those. I got ones on my car that are Toyota. Get rid of that. Here is a little... power bank, which probably doesn't work. Batteries don't do well when they are frozen. That can go with the paint. That's all hazardous waste items that I'm going to get rid of at some point. Look at this, more car stuff. This is short, so it can go back here with this stuff. Here with the bug sprays. This is almost empty, so I can use that up. That's only like enough to, to apply it once to myself. There's a toilet brush. That belongs here right near the door because I use that to clean the snowblower. 
paint right here. Brazing rods right there. Here's a little tiny fan. That's actually really cool because it can run off a power bank. That doesn't need to be in the garage. That can go in the house. Um, here's a really cool flower pot. Is that supposed to be a watermelon? Is it from 1953? Maybe. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to think about that. Uh, that might go in my office because I have a lot of vintage stuff in there where I make my old food videos. Otherwise, I'll donate that. Insect killer. We are running out of space up on the pesticide shelf. Here is some oil. That This propane can go over here with the propane and spray paint. Propane maybe should find itself on a lower shelf, because if, if that fell, it could potentially explode. Although they make it thick enough where it should not. Can move all the bug spray over. Oil can fit in there. That can be for one of the snowblowers oil changes. Now I don't have to buy some. And that space from that, more pesticide can fit up there. There is a pump right here. See, a Col Coleman pump for inflatable air beds. That can go right there next to that other air pump. Oh. Ah, good. It actually got caught. I thought it was going to fall down inside there. All right, now we have more space for when we find more pesticides. And there we are, more pesticides right here. Full container. What is it? I try not to use these chemicals on my property. Because I am in the middle of nowhere and I have a well and I don't want to contaminate my water. I have so many carpenter ants on the property currently killing the trees. I have pine beetles, I think. All kinds of bad stuff. But I refuse to use those chemicals because I have a well. Um, I also have tons of... You ever hear of... No, I don't have it anymore. I actually got rid of it because I, I, I didn't ever want to be tempted to use it on the property because of the well. I got cl uh, chlordane. I had chlordane, a chemical which the sale of it was banned, I think, in the 70s. More sanitizer because it contaminated wells, I believe. Here's another mount. That came with the house. I have no idea what that is all these years. This I use because I get underneath my vehicle every spring and I use Rust-Oleum. I will clean every part of the frame that has rust and spray this on. The way I drive, I, I usually drive like at least 40,000 miles a year. I'll probably wear out the car before it could ever rust out. But I do my preventative maintenance because I have no idea where, what kind of job I might be in in a few years. And if I don't do this, all this driving anymore, I want the car to still last. So I do my preventative maintenance, cl cleaning up the frame. And yeah, because I go off-road all the time. Gravel scrapes away the protective coating on the frame then we go through winter it all rusts up with salt so i go under there in the spring and i correct that issue the two stroke oils right here we are going to find a place for all this probably over on that shelf over there that can be the new home there's also a six pack of them somewhere over here that can go see all these containers of screws and stuff all oh, this is screws that can go over there and once that's there, we have two more shelves that are free. Because all that right there is basically nuts and bolts, tool related. This is what... An oil filter. It's brand new. Even the gasket's still rubbery. That... We're going to... Donation box, which this stuff over here. Highly doubt it would fit my car. Plus, my car has that cheap plastic thing you remove. Um, if I ever get another vehicle and it comes with the plastic thing, which is a pain in the butt to remove and really easy to crack, if, if anyone who does an oil change will probably know what I'm talking about. They have an adapter that allows you to use an actual metal can like that, which is so much easier when you're doing your own oil changes. 
I just recently started doing my own. I used to just go to the shop because they buy in bulk and it's cheaper. Look at this. I saved all this glass because I thought I might be able to use it for something. I still might be able to use it for something. Okay, maybe we can grab that and slide it in here so there's not a hazard of it falling over. Also, this chair does not need to be in here. I have never sat in here for any reason. And if I did, it was on the floor to work on a machine. This is that loud noise. I dropped my blowtorch. Where could blowtorches go that's not so high up where they could explode potentially on the ground? There's so many scratches on that. Should I keep it? You know, I should. That should go with the grinder. I don't use it often, and I can deal with the scratches on it. I have no idea what this little thing is. Definitely nothing I ever did. There is a very rusty lawnmower blade. Look at the size of that lawnmower. This was a really tiny machine that it came off of. That will go with the donate stuff. Someone can go through that. This is garbage. That was here a long time. I do not want this little vase. This goes up with the pesticides and fertilizers. That's light enough where it won't hurt me if it falls on my head. Um, brake fluid, just in case it does happen to go to my car with the car stuff. Grab all these paint brushes because they're going to go inside because I keep all my good paint in the house so it doesn't get destroyed in the winter since most modern paint is latex, not oil-based, which shouldn't freeze. All that's going to go inside with my painting stuff. This is kind of... This is kind of cool. I'm probably going to hang something up with that. Here's some good gloves. I'm going to use those for snow blowing. I haven't seen those in such a long time. And by the fade mark, it looks like I forgot them in the sun at some point. All this... Oh my god, there's two more of those things! Alright, I'm getting a little... Confused. Keep all those together. Those can all go over on that shelf with the little hardware. Another paintbrush. It looks like it's definitely been used, but they did a good job of cleaning it off. Um, garden sprayer. That can go with the sprinklers and stuff, which will probably go underneath the pesticides. That makes sense to me. And the starter fluid should go down there next to the automotive. Doesn't that make more sense? Garage door lube. Found that in an estate sale. Um, what's this? We haven't looked at this container yet. It's empty and there's no pressure in it. Wow, whole shelf is cleared. Here's a rusty chain. That right there, this goes to a... Uh, security camera housing. I recognize that from installing them. You ever see those gigantic cameras you see on like the roof of Walmart? That's not the camera. That is the housing. There's a little camera inside it. They have a heating element, a fan, all kinds of cool stuff in there to melt snow off them. They can heat up to defog themselves. This is where the wire comes in. You tighten it down so water can't get into it. This looks like a dog chain, which I might be able to repurpose for something. We'll, we'll have a whole area of chains, you know, get all that kind of stuff together. Same with this chain here. Um, the mice were eating my brazen rods. Ugh. Oh, it looks like I did. Maybe that was my camera housing thing. Maybe I brought home some of my work with me. This is the little slide that the camera sits on inside the housing. Those cameras they use at like Walmart, they are powerful. They can read your license plate from the whole other side of the parking lot. Believe me, if you're shoplifting, they can see you. Oh, look at this. Here's the heating element from one of them. 
Oh. Multiple heating elements. I guess they weren't used on one of the jobs, so I got to bring them home. I don't really want to throw those out. This oil lamp. We'll do something else with that. Those are both full. Marking tape. We use this often. It can go right here. This is the stuff I was telling you about. You mix it in with your paint so mold doesn't grow in it. That's what I used on the house. That's going to go inside with the painting stuff. This doesn't need to be here my way. This can be on the floor to distinguish it from trash. This is garbage. I don't know what this is. It's drying up, whatever it is. I need to get a paper towel roll in here. I need it all the time, but I don't have one. That can go right here. Another gross earplug. It's mine, but I don't know how old it is. Um, this little salt pepper shaker. That can be donated. I, 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 just, I hate throwing things out. I used to save absolutely everything. And I, I see that it's just clutter. And, you know, this looks like something some little kid probably colored in. It's a Christmas ornament. What's this? Is that for like a, a drink so it doesn't leave a ring on your table? Whatever that's called. This goes with this. No, that does not go to the grinder. That's for a drill, but it's related. This goes to the grinder. And whatever that is, I will clean that up at some point. This is for removing spark plugs. So that can go over here where my sockets are underneath that pile now. This is uh, for a phone I no longer have, and you see that this case is all broken. Why did I save that? I have no idea. This actually goes to my car. I said it's for one of the sensors. Am I ever going to put that back on? Probably not. Here's a funnel. You can go on the hook with this funnel. Um, two little mug hooks. That'll get put with the hardware eventually. These locks. I don't think they're mine, but I'm going to keep them for the time being. The sponge can go over here with the soap and stuff. This twine, I think we're going to put over there in the hardware stuff once we make a spot over to that. More paintbrushes, which will go into the basement. Paint scraper and can opener. I'm going to put that here for now. Oh, did I get lucky? I'm going to put you guys down for just a second, but I'm still going to talk to you. All right. Mm. It works. Yeah. What's, I'm going to grab the other lock. Let me see if it opens both of them because they look similar. Does not open one of them. What about the other key? No. Maybe I'll find the key as I keep going along. Only one of those locks opens with the key. I thought they may have been keyed similarly. Like sometimes you buy a whole pack of locks. It's another one of those. This. Go with the other ones until I figure out what to do with it. This. Can just be thrown in that toolbox with the other file for now until I go through that. This belongs to the strobe. These go underneath little potted plants. Donate. I don't have any plants that small. Sometimes when I leave for weeks at a time, they would die. Unless they're a cactus, which wouldn't have that kind of water. 
so I'm not going to use that. I'm just going to donate it. This is a staple remover. This is flat blade razor for like getting paint off a window. Two more of these. All right. What else can we move in here to get out of the way? Frozen water bottle. Again, I am, that's not all trash. It's going to get, I'm going to go through it. Let's see what I can move. See this oil tank? I got to be careful of this. This is all new equipment, but most guys these days have the pipe or the, in the suction line coming out of here. This is an obsolete way of doing it because if I kick that and break that valve off, this whole thing is going to drain onto the floor and there's nothing you can do about it. Here's some Halloween decorations. I actually use those. This sprinkler is vintage. I bought it. Works better than the ones you buy today. I bought one at Walmart for 10 bucks. It broke within a few days as far as not moving properly. Lubricating it didn't even do anything. Got that for free, that air mattress. Hmm. Looking for other trash. That looks like trash. It looks like another container, that deodorizer for pets. Which doesn't need to be in here. I'll get a 1995 calendar. I'll keep that because it's kind of cool. Oh yeah, I'm I'm working on a chainsaw shelf. So let's work on getting this wagon against the wall so I can use the ladder and start putting things in the attic. Like, see that pot right there? I use that for boiling maple syrup. But I do that like once a year. Why does it need to be occupying the shelf? Same with that air pump. I've never used that before, ever. I blew up the air mattress with my mouth the only time I used it. So all that stuff can go in the attic. It's all very light. It's not going to overwhelm the 2x4. Um, same thing with these dollies. Those can get thrown in the attic. It just looks like clutter on this tank. What else can go in the attic? Look at that. See that? I have four of those trash cans because they were on the discount shelf for 50 cents. And they're usually $3. Those are not Dollar Tree pails. Those are from Walmart. They're a little bit better. I see a lot of space on this shelf and a lot of junk I don't need. Yep. Oh, man. I got to watch what I keep in this garage. Those big containers of pesticide are swelling. Hmm. You see, for my oil changes, I, I have that container of that gallon of old motor oil. That's just from the machines in here, like doing them once. I was going to make my own stain. You use old motor oil, which is black, as a darkener, and you use diesel fuel, and you can make a homemade stain. That's what a lot of farmers sometimes use on their barns. It's very cheap when you have big wooden buildings you're trying to spray down. Diesel's not flammable like gas, but believe me, it'll help your building go up in flames if you do that. I just planned on using that for not the house, other things. Helps really preserve them, apparently. This garage is built better than the house. It's got two by sixes. I couldn't believe it. I went in my attic. It's built with two by threes. And all my years of going in different attics, yeah, I was amazed how cheaply the house here was built. But it's not an A-frame like this. It's it's a truss system. But still, when I see two by threes, I think that I think of not even quality. Two by threes are usually used on non-load-bearing walls of a house. Look at how the plywood here is new. Did they build this with scraps or was there a roof leak, you think, and they had to replace the edge? 
But I'm going to put you guys on a tripod. I'm still going to talk to you because I have to actually move big things around with both hands. Wow, we've been doing this for almost an hour. I also plugged the camera in. The camera was almost dead. So for now, we're going to move some of this stuff. Move the chainsaw. Move another chainsaw. Bar chain oil. I keep it down on that bottom shelf, but this gallon doesn't fit, and I don't want to put it on its side because I don't trust it. But it can go on the top because I plan on moving everything on this top shelf over with the hardware. Here's another pair of gloves I've been missing for the longest time. More screws and a permanent marker. We'll get to that. Move this chair. But where? I have no floor space over here. Can it easily put it down on top of the chainsaw box, I guess. Nope, that's not going to work. Uh, now it can go on top of the box, maybe in balance. Yeah, it's balancing for now. Here's some more windshield fluid, which is going to go on the top shelf here for the time being. Let's move this fuel out of here. I only have fuel in here because I was doing a lot of chainsawing recently. I'm not even supposed to have that in the garage. I'm going to get it out of here. Because if it ever explodes, the garage is attached to the house. Let's get this glass moved. That's actually very thick glass, but I don't know if it's safety glass or not. It looks like it came out of a hutch, and I'm worried if I try to cut it to use it, it'll, ex it'll explode because it's safety glass, like in a car. Um, let's get this out of here. We don't need this piece of wood, although it is a nice piece of wood. Maybe I'll throw that in the attic, too. That did not expose a hole into the secret compartment where someone might be hiding stuff. But, let's take you guys over there. That piece of wood is not attached to the wall on the bottom. You see, it's nailed a few times up top, and the pipes go through it, so we can't remove it. But, anything in there? Nope. Uh, unless there's like a little shelf somewhere up there, uh, there's nothing back there. We got to use this diesel anti-gel in the winter time for this big tank in the back. Because it gets so cold this far north that it'll turn to jelly and the furnace can't run. Now that we created this gap here, that's where the glass is going. Alright, we just created a gap. So... Let's get this cart over here. I have to do stuff with this cart all the time, like move firewood and stuff. So I have to go and get this stuff to a new home. Everything that's in here needs to go somewhere. I use this cart almost daily to get firewood back to the house. And just park it here temporarily. I shouldn't have done that yet because I didn't move the glass, but I can still fit back here. Let's get that glass moved before I end up breaking it. Oh, very carefully. Very carefully with the glass. All right, it's safe now. Now, I can open this ladder, which also came from a yard sale. It looks like I paid 30 bucks, or maybe I haggled with the guy. I usually try to haggle people down. It's a nice wooden ladder. It beats the one I used to have. Although the one I used to have actually came with the house. That was a piece of junk. So now, we're going to go up into the attic... See if there's anything up there hiding that I can't see. 
This piece of plywood is going to go up there with me. Not the best setup for the ladder, but... Oh yeah, this will be helpful. Because now, you can potentially put something on top of that. Anything in the attic? Absolutely nothing is in this attic. Nothing at all. Except maybe a hiking stick? Is this some hiking stick someone brought back? Yeah, look. It's just a piece of wood. It's a nice hiking stick. I can tell somebody stained it. Um... What else was I going to put in the attic? Oh yeah. Mr. Ginger Man is going to go up there right now. The gingerbread man is going up there. This guy does work. I tested it. Maybe we'll use him next Christmas. That is so light. Things like that I'm not worried about putting up there. Also... We can put that pot, uh, giant clam steamer pot up there. I'm only keeping the box because it looks pretty cool. I can tell it's vintage. But I try to stay away from cardboard boxes at all costs because, in my experience, especially being outdoors or in a damp basement, cardboard grows mold if it's damp, and mice also destroy it. So I usually stick to plastic or wooden boxes. Um, what is in this Chewy.com box in the back? A bunch of random tools. We'll deal with that another time. I hope you can see me. I don't remember what angle I left the camera on. But I'm leaving it looking up towards the attic because I'm going right back up there. I'm going to put these wooden dollies in the attic because I don't have anything to use them for at the moment. Maybe if I got some kind of toolbox that was down here on the floor, I would put it on top of it. But at the moment, no. Um, I am going to put them upside down so they can't roll. And fall down here. Those are good. Um... At the moment, I don't see anything else that's going to be going up here. So. What else can we do in here for as far as cleaning? Yeah, you guys didn't have the worst angle. You could see what I was doing over there. So. This ladder goes away. I like this ladder because when you close it, this closes. A lot of the older ones... You'd forget the little paint stand was out, but this one, look, it's automatic. It's kind of cool. You don't see these nice wooden ladders anymore. They're all fiberglass these days. Or aluminum. That's going to go there for just a moment. Chainsaw box. This chair is going outside. As soon as I open that door back up. Um, we gotta find like a cubby hole to stick this axe and sledgehammer in. There's a pickaxe here. Where could those go? I think they're gonna go in that corner once I make space behind. There's like a foot gap between the wall and that shelf. The sledgehammer can go inside. I want to see what's inside this little shelf here. Almost 
almost empty. All that's in here is a seven inch ruler and a brown pair of shoelaces. What do you think of this? Has anyone ever seen a seven inch ruler? I think it came out of the factory like that because look, it centered the name of the company and you see it was stained evenly. Weird, never seen a seven inch ruler. That's gonna go in the bin of stuff to donate. And also, this drawer is empty, empty. We have a lot of space here. What is this? Black and Decker. We have a skill saw here. Jigsaw, I should say. I didn't even know it was in here. You know how many times I could have used this over the years? And said I did things a little more jagged with a reciprocating saw. Cool. There's also a cooler in here, which feels like it's empty. That is so cute, this little cooler. It's gonna go in the attic for now, because I don't need it down here. I can use this space for something else. Does a gallon fit in there? Not quite, but if I do it like this, no, still doesn't fit. We will find something to put in there. Whether it's just junk to get it off the floor, does a torch cylinder fit in there? Yes, it does. I just found a spot to put my cylinders of propane. Nice and low to the ground, and if I drop them, there's not really a risk of them exploding. So, down here is going to be my spray paint and propane area. Now, the one with the torch on it, you're actually not supposed to leave a torch on it. But because they're already on it, if I remove it, there's a chance to leak. So I'm going to leave them on, and I think I'm going to put them in the drawer above it on their side. Like that. And there's another blowtorch to go right next to it. And I have a torch without a tank. That actually works perfect. That is going to be all my torch heads and stuff. Uh, the, yeah, the bigger, yeah, these will fit in here. All my paints and propane is going to go in there. We will also put the paint thinner in there. And we just freed up an entire other shelf. What else can we potentially put in there? Until I find a better use for it, there's a lot of miscellaneous things that can also go in there. I also have not gone through. This is all toe straps and those fishing magnets at the bottom. This is a bunch of rusty wrenches, extension cords, caulking gun, mostly extension cords, which are still good. And this is my toolbox, but so many miscellaneous things in there. Like, I'll show you what I got in there. And I look at all those empty shelves. There's no excuse for things to be on the floor anymore. So this is propane and paint, propane torches. These can be used for something. You see this box is like extension cords. Why not throw them in there for now? Get the extension cords out of here. I also have so many extension cords in the house. wonder if that even works anymore. These extension cords, because they're, they're not mine, so I don't know how long any of this stuff has been here. Wow, there's actually enough of them to fill the whole drawer. That is a nice drawer, so I'll probably figure out something else to put in there. For now, I'm just going to throw the miscellaneous tools in there.
this should go with my electric stuff in the basement. I forgot the wagons over there. Honestly, an electric plate like that, I would only use that for myself. No one wants a scratched up plate like that in their house. Those things are so cheap. Contractors buy a hundred pack of those when they turn out to like 20 cents a piece. Caulking gun. That's going to go in the basement because that's where all my caulk is so that the winter doesn't destroy it. Here's some more like screws and stuff over here. And now this basket can be used to move all those screws to their new home. Once I get to that, and here's another toolbox with my stuff. They're not my best tools. That's why I have never gone missing them. Hmm. They are like, this is a handy tool. Hmm. This will be a treasure box for another day, honestly. I want to keep that out. And I want to keep my files out. I use, I need a file every now and then. So this whole box for now, it's not terribly heavy. This is going to go in the attic, but far away from the ledge where it won't fall on someone's head. This, this toolbox is also junk. Toe straps. I think I'm going to put the toe straps over there on top of that pipe. It's not every day I use those. I use these for pulling down trees next to the house. But there are no more trees next to the house. Because they were all sick and dying and I didn't trust them so I cut them down. And look at this. There was a mouse between those boxes. Look at all the chewed shavings, mouse poops. They were even eating my earplug. I recognize those orange foam pieces anywhere. <sighs> Just stirred up a ton of hantavirus. I'll sweep the floor eventually. So, once we clear a spot, all this stuff's going to get to go over there. As soon as we set the ladder back up, these items are going in the attic. Hmm. I'm trying to think what else I can move around. I think this. Can go in here maybe. Yep, that found a new home. And as I get more spray paint, it will go in there. Kind of cool, this little shelf. These candles will go in the house too. I have a whole drawer of candles in the kitchen. You see, my, my brain is so used to the wagon always being here. That's why I went over here looking for it. So what else can I move? Oil lubricant. Don't use that every day. And a bird obviously was sitting on it and pooped because sometimes I forget the garage door. I leave it open all day when I'm home. Also, another hazard. Where is my fire extinguisher? I have no idea where it is. I actually dropped this while I was setting the camera up. Can't believe that didn't break. It fell off of this under the concrete floor. So, attic items. I'll probably put the, all, all my collection of chains into a milk jug. All those slats of wood do not need to be in here. All that wood is actually going to get thrown in the attic because I might use it someday and I don't want to throw it out. That right there, that Walmart bag, you see that sprinkler in there? Whatever you call this type of sprinkler. 
that was a dollar on the discount shelf. And that's, the, I think, the same type that I told you broke on me. Let's get this snow blower out of the way. And then maybe we can put things in those Tupperware bins right there. Like, absolutely everything I, I don't know what to do with can go in those. First thing I'm going to do is move this snow blower. Not even enough space in here to maneuver it. Gonna have to walk it a little bit. Like that. And now I can get over here. Put that wire up on the shelf. Lots of mouse poops on the shelf. That's gonna have to be cleaned at some point. Here's a tin with nothing in it. Pretty nice, look at the design on it. Fruit. What do you think came in this? Dried fruit, that's what came in this. It came, you know, like, holiday cookies come in that sometimes now. I got this big blob of ice that came out of the snow blower. Wow, how did that mouse trap not go off with that on top of it? Is it going now? So that's how the mouse stole the peanut butter off it. Not sensitive enough at all. So what do you think I can use this bin for? It's nice and handy. It's got wheels so I can load it up with some weight. And this should be the one on the bottom. <laughs> Something stinks. It's not that. What else do we see that is completely unnecessary in here? It's all mouse traps up here. I don't use mouse I don't use mouse poison anymore because when I do catch a mouse, I throw it outside and like owls and stuff eat it at night. I also do not use rat traps. I just bought them because they were probably on sale. I doubt that was on sale, honestly. But I had second thoughts about using the mouse, tra uh, the rat traps because I didn't want to kill the squirrels that were coming in the garage and they can't fit in the holes the mice are. Purple primer cleaner. That is, that, this stuff makes such a mess. I now use the clear stuff. This is only so the code inspector can tell that you used it. If you're doing your own job, look at this miscellaneous nails and a quarter. Here's PVC joints. Those can stay up there. What, what, what's, what's, what else is up here with me? Wooden pegs. Or this is to cover up like a screw in furniture. That's all that's up there. These are like fool's gold rocks that I got from Centralia, Pennsylvania. And this piece of asphalt is from the washout we went to visit in Maine. This can go with the other wooden pegs here. Here's a... That looks like a real silver fork. Look at these. See all these rusty nuts? When am I ever going to use this? That's going to also get donated. Look at this. That's actually kind of nice. It's stained, so that, that's not going to go bad, right? That is stained. Yeah, we'll keep that up here for now. More junk. Piece of wood. Here's a lock that actually came with the key. Here's a light bulb. It's like an aquarium light bulb or maybe for like a hutch. That low profile shape. Burn bush. Never heard of that store. What's this? Double-sided adhesive tape. I highly doubt that is still sticky. Being in here through many hot summers and stuff. Here's little nightlight bulbs, individually packed like this. Never seen that done before. What's in this? Screws. Sheet metal screws in there. 
Look at this. The mice were really hanging out in here. Look at all those rusty nails. Unless I'm doing some kind of project in the woods, I wouldn't really use nails that are already rusting. This is really nasty. It's garbage. Just another piece of clutter on the wall. I didn't take it down because I hate the Red Sox or anything. Don't really follow any sports like that. Look at this. Is this like something Christine made maybe in pottery class in school? And we have another chain in it. Well, Christine's mug can go to a donation bin. Atlantic fasteners. Look at that. There's a this is this actually came with the place. This is an old insulator. I can clean that up beautifully and put it with my collection of them. What's in this cookie tin? Nothing. Nothing's in there. That looks like a really good one. These are light bulbs for like a fancy chandelier. I don't have anything like that, and I probably never will. Donation bin. Don't know what these go to. Maybe a divider in a box. Another tin. Sounds like nails. Nope. Rattling, it's not going to get it open. Ooh, a miscellaneous box. All kinds of random stuff. Thumbtacks. A chain. Miscellaneous box. That is... All this miscellaneous stuff like this is going to get thrown in a box and get left at a donation site, and they can go through all that. Look, oh, look at this marker. King-size marker. Is that what came out of it? It has exploded all over the shelf. Electric tape. You can tell that's expired. That is trash. Here's some phone wire. I don't need that. What's this? Clay pass. Oil colors. I doubt these are any good anymore. Oh no, they're no, those are still good. Nice vintage box. Look at 79 cents. I don't want that. More crayons. I don't want that. What's in this? Rope screws and mouse poops. Nope. This rope, that's still good, assuming there's not like a mouse chewed it or something. Oh, they did. Or no, maybe not, but it's all little pieces of rope that I'll probably never use. Up on this top shelf are security light bulbs. Oh, those are good LED ones. Definitely keeping those. Probably more screws. What's in this cookie box? Nothing. Another tin... Something's in it. What do you think's in it? Look what's inside it. You'll never believe it. It was another tin inside it. And what's inside that tin? It's another tin. Inside that tin is nothing. But I'm going to go ahead and put those back together. That would actually be really cool to give someone as a birthday gift. You know, like put their... I give someone like a gift card in the middle of all that. That would be kind of cool someday. Throw that back up. There's a little box. What is it? More light bulbs I'm feeling too. Yeah. But there's a box. I'm trying to reach it. Uh, here we go. What is this? 2003 it says on the box. That's a bunch of stuff for window blinds and a bunch of screws I'm not gonna pick through all the screws donate it here's a bunch of twine that's all chewed up by mice we are making lots of shelf space in here scissors all the shelf space here is gonna be used for that stuff back over there look at all the rusty nails and mouse poops 
Okay, these are galvanized roofing nails. Those are actually good. What do you guys think? Should I just throw away the rusty nails? Because I don't think I'm ever going to use them. If anything, I'll add them in the donation bin. If they think that they shouldn't be donated, then they can throw them out. Tax. These nails look all right. This light bulb is probably... Is that burned out? The filament looks okay, but it's all black in the middle. And the mice really went to town on this. Anything that I... What's this? More light bulbs. Um, a shoelace? Leather shoelace. Boot lace. It's probably rotted by now. Marker probably dead. Fastener. Don't know what type they are, but I'll look at them after. That's dead. bunch of night light bulbs I don't I, I think I only own one light bulb at this I mean one night light at this point that doesn't use LED what are these plastic fasteners I have no idea I think it goes to some kind of shelving which I don't have anymore hose clamp it can always be handy what's this 300 with a race car on it what is that gold coin? Hobo Hills Adventure Golf. Never heard of it. All these little pins and stuff, that's all going to th be thrown in a donation bin. Someone can go through it. Alright, we cleared a lot of space here. Gross. All right. We are going to move more stuff out of the way. This is oil-based paint. That can, it, that can be out in the cold, I believe, possibly. Here's a pen. That must have just got dropped. Colebrook, New Hampshire. Uh, probably dead, I would assume at this point. Here's a whole bunch of connectors from what? Oh, I don't need them. This is from that heat cable that I installed in the drain line, if you ever saw that video a while back. They're going to get donated, because if I ever buy a new heat cable for the roof, if I ever decide to do that for my ice dams, which I'm probably just going to keep raking it, I don't really want to deal with this because supposedly I don't last long on a rooftop. They'll come with new ones if I ever did, so that's going to get donated too. That mouse trap is flipped, but there's no mouse in it. Here's, here's that hiking pole I was showing you. See, someone took the time to stain it and cut it. Nice straight stick. Look at these. Two more boxes empty. Pottery and stuff. Look at this. Whole bunch of those are probably real silver, right? Vermont Bicentennial. That's why, probably why I kept this stuff. I thought this was a nice vase. I'm... Oh, look at that. The mice went crazy chewing aluminum foil in the back there. Yeah, you see, they're very destructive creatures. That's why I have the trap set up around the floor. You know, I used to spend so much time relocating them, but... There's just so many of them. It's... I haven't caught one in a while. They come in right before winter, but once winter is on full blast, then they don't seem to come in anymore. Wow, that's weird. Usually in a garage, you would have two 2x4s two here. This is a 4x4. Four four. These look like rough cut lumber, right? That looks bigger than a normal 2x4 these days, which is weird because this building doesn't look old. All right, where can that stereo go? Let's be creative. That funnel, nope, 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 not gonna throw it on the shelf. That's how we get into a messy attitude. It's gonna go right here with the other funnels. Keep it nice and neat. This 
radio, which I know works because I listen to music on it once. And there's a burn hole through one of the speakers. Maybe someone was listening to it next to the campfire at one point. It's going to go right here. Slightly hanging so I can pull the generator out if I needed it. That can be right there. Now that we got this shelf free, this is going to be the chainsaw shelf. So, I'm going to get you guys back on the tripod so you can watch me put this together because I need two hands for this. Okay, everyone, so here's my new chainsaw that I have never even used yet. Put that on the shelf. That actually does better on its side. That one didn't come with a case. It just came with the chain guard. I gotta take the oil cans now off of my other chainsaw. Another day, I really should drain the fuel in this one so it doesn't go bad. Because I'm probably gonna have a lot of fun with my new one and not want to use this unless I have friends helping me at some point and we actually need all three chainsaws. So this one, I bought this Craftsman one at a yard sale and it looked barely used. It works really good. It just doesn't go very fast and it's kind of small. That's why I wanted to get a, a commercial one with the large 28 inch blade. So that's going up on the shelf. You always want to take the fuel out of them because I've learned my lesson. I have many times not taken the fuel out of them and what happens is you go to start them. They either don't start because the fuel is garbage or they do start and the problem is, as soon as you go to rev it, it stalls because it's, the gas is flammable enough to start the engine, but it is not flammable enough to run the chain. You get what I mean? I thought I lost this at first. I'm glad it was in there. Now this chainsaw I almost dropped something glass on the floor. This chainsaw has not been used since the spring. I can't hear if there's fuel in it or not, but I know that if I go to use it again, I definitely have to drain it out and put new fuel in it. So, uh, we are back. use ethanol free fuel so it's not going to gunk up anything. Not that bad at least. Now I got a shelf of chainsaws. And you know what makes perfect sense to me everyone? I should have everything related to the chainsaws on the shelf. The bar chain oil, all of that stuff should be here. So I'm going to go ahead and take it off over here. Remember I had a gallon of chain oil, which did not fit on this shelf because it was too tall. And I also got more of it here. This is winter blend. Never use normal chain oil if it's below freezing because you're going to ruin your chainsaw. It's not lubricating properly. And don't use the cold stuff in the summer because it's going to leak it all over the ground because it's too thin. Yeah, this can go right here on the shelf. I also got more chainsaw accessories that can go... They're in the wagon a little bit buried now, but once I get to them... The chainsaw fuel I can leave right there, I guess. I, don't, I feel like... You know... The electrician part of me doesn't like that. It's too close to the light switch. I don't like it, you know? Here's a brand new extension cord. It's like one of the cheaper ones you can get. I just needed it in case... I don't know. That's why I bought it. I was going to use this to stop the pond pipe from freezing at one point. And I just bought the cheapest cord I could get with a end cover. Yeah. 
piece of plywood. I must have thought it was nice and I would use it for something. Maybe I'll use it for something someday. Let's throw it in the attic. Grocery bag. This is a homemade contraption I made once because I needed light in the yard. It's obviously... Oh! That wasn't aluminum foil the mice chewed all over the ground. The safety glass broke on it. How though? I, I never noticed that even happened. Damn it. But this was a homemade portable light I made as a kid. Uh, oh well, I guess I'll get all that when I sweep up. That'll get thrown in the back of the shelf for now. We even got more chain if you can see it hanging in there. And here I got my cutters. That can probably go over here somewhere. Yeah, if you look over here, you see I got the big loppers hanging up there. And I have another pair of clippers right here. I'm just putting them with the handles through the oil line. That'll work. It'll work. Now, remember I was telling you that I have a bunch of axes and stuff. I was going to try to squeeze in this back corner. How's that going to work? We can throw this pan out. I'm not going to reuse that for any other color paint than what they had. So this come along can go up here. Get that out of the way. The new toe strap can go with it. Caution tape is up there too. You see in this back corner, I'm, all, I'm already using it for stuff. I have plastic sheathing, a giant roll of window screen. Um, I didn't even know where this thing went. I have not even missed it because I hate using it. It's a log splitter, a manual one that you slam down on top of it. This plastic sheathing is in my way. This window screen is in my way. They're both going in the attic. This right here is a pole saw. I rarely ever need to use one of those. Some kind of sidewalk melt. And it looks like it got wet. I'm never going to use that. I don't put salt on my property because it causes effervescence in your basement. And it just damages things. I always put sand on my sidewalks and walkways. Because I don't want to damage things. Now I'm going over here to grab certain items like my pickaxe, my fire axe. And they're just going to get shoved in this corner for now. Because I don't use those often. All this salt also shouldn't be in here, because I'm probably never going to use it again. I'll tuck that away somewhere. Um, this walking stick I'm probably going to put back in the attic. We are making progress. Um, let's move the frog. That's a special frog. This, this thing used to be in my dad's garden. He's in here so he doesn't break during the winter. That's another de-icing cable, it says. Bad assault. Oh, it's hard. Giant. Oh, no, it's breaking up. Somebody will like to have that to bring that to a donation place. Now this stuff, roof melt, can go in here to get it off the floor space, just like that. Ouch. Good thing it didn't slice me. This is like a chopper for a garden. No, it says it's... Oh, it's a chopper and a wood scraper for getting the bark off of wood for whatever reason. That can remain back in this corner. I, I bought that. 
for breaking up the ground in a garden, but have never used it. I like signs. You can just hang that back up. Hey, look at this. That's my original post-10 rake. I had to weld it. it. It's broke so many times that I, I, I've replaced it. And I've also found that this sort of rake was only good for storm drain unclogging. And unfortunately, we've, ran, we've run out of those because the DOT keeps up with it now. So we don't do that kind of stuff anymore. Although I want to. During big storms, I still go out and look for it. But I usually come up empty-handed. So, first thing I'm going to start by doing right here is... Taking one of these milk crates. There's a really old rusty mouse trap I'm just going to end up throwing out because they're so cheap. This could be used for something. It's for holding a plumbing pipe. And a knife for applying peanut butter. I'm gonna take all these kayak straps and shove them in here. If I ever need them, I'll know they're here. When, when you strap up anything on your roof, you always make sure they're not free. Don't use free equipment. Like, I gotta check for mice. Now we just clear that shelf. We have all we have all the other toe straps on the other side of the garage, but that's okay. Uh, those are different. We're gonna shove the pots. The pots can go in the corner. There's a lot of broken glass in there. I'm gonna have to clean that up at some point. Not right now. I got too many things in here going on. There's my fuel stabilizer. I think I'm going to use this milk crate just for my cutting wedges so they're not all over the floor. Like, wedges, use them with a sledgehammer for splitting really big logs. Put them in the milk crate. These wedges, see how it's supposed to break a log into floor, four pieces? They don't work. I think it's basically a gimmick. Maybe if your wood was very dry, it would work. For me, it just splits it in half like a normal wedge. Not worth the extra price. Here's a giant metal weight that I use for a spacer on the log splitter. That noise is like cringeworthy. The uh, safety glass sliding the bin over it. This goes over... No, not with the automotive. This should go up here with the oils for the machines. I see some chainsaw blades hanging on the wall. I also see two other ones in here. I should get those in a centralized place. All those chains you see around here go to the yellow chainsaw. So we're making progress. What else do we need to move? I think we need to get a box for all this junk can get out of here immediately. The stuff that we're going to be donating needs to leave this room, I think, to make space to work a little better. You know, honestly, looking around here with all the shelf space, anything we're keeping, I don't think. We're not going to need these boxes, so I think temporarily I'm going to go ahead and grab that more junky box on the bottom. And we're just going to throw everything in there for now. But I don't want to give that away to donation because that's a nice box. Sledgehammer, which I don't use all the time. We're just going to go and shove over here with that other stuff. Right back in here. Sledgehammer. My splitting axe I'm going to leave over there for now because it's still winter time and I need it at certain occasions. Just like I've said in videos, the splitting axe is used for logs like less than 12 inches. Log splitter has to be used on the bigger ones because it's just more efficient. So, lift this cover off with all this stuff 
miscellaneous stuff that we got to go through now. Because a lot of it's junk that I'm not keeping. Get this bin out of here. Um, throw it on top of the snow blower. Anything in here? Thankfully, it's empty. I'm happy. Get this garden hose off the ground. It's a real rubber hose. It's like 25 years old, not even dry rotted. Back when they used to make quality products. New ones, they bake after a year or two in the sun and they break. If you ever find a hose like this, it's a, it's not round, it's six-sided. If you ever find one of those at a tag sale and it's in good shape, definitely buy that because they're really hard to find. All right, so we got a bin here now just to put the miscellaneous stuff in here and get it out of here. Oh, look at this. Hiding back here. Two shovels and a hoe. Yeah, we should have a spot with open wall space just to have tools against it or find a good... I need to get the hooks where you hang the shovel upside down you just put it and holds it like this against the wall. Then I can put it somewhere. Don't need this firework firing tube. When you buy fireworks, it almost always comes with one. Anyone know what this is for? It's old fashioned and it's cool, so I'm keeping it. What is behind this refrigerator? A pretty decent piece of wood. That's gonna get shoved up in the attic. Wow, I really tore this place apart, but it's looking so much better. So, together. What was in this box? Anything someone may potentially want, light bulbs and stuff. Anything that's absolute trash is going in the trash. Yeah, a lot of this other stuff is absolute trash. Like this. A silver fork. Purple primer cleaner. I'm never going to use that again on my own property. It just makes a mess. And you got to look at that ugly purple drip. Just use the clear stuff at home. If you're not going to have an inspector looking at it. And the rest of this looks like just garbage to me. What's in here? Whoa, look at that tiny little light bulbs. What do you think that could be for? I don't know. I'm probably never going to use that in my life, but they're cool. What's in this one? More light bulbs. You see, that's how I become a junk collector. I can't let the smallest things go. Yeah, get rid of them. Donate them. Marker. Actually works. Fasteners, what was this? I didn't look at them. Whoa, those are actually good, really good stainless steel screws. Um, there's a quarter in here. Got a quarter. Better put it in my pocket. Tiny little screwdriver, that might come in handy. And a bunch of rusty screws. But it's a pretty cool pot. Charlemont, New Hampshire. All right, the rest of that is on the top of that lid is garbage. Whenever I can get back over to my garbage can. All right, everyone. I spent probably an hour and 40 minutes in here and look at the difference I made. I have been making my life 
more difficult for over a year, over 90 minutes of time or so. There is still a lot of work in here to do. Yes, I still have one chainsaw I didn't get on the shelf. I actually literally forgot about that chainsaw until now. So, yeah. We will make it fit somewhere, or it can just stay there. I'm probably never going to use that thing again unless I'm cutting right outside the door here. But now I have a chainsaw shelf. I got three chainsaws here. I got the chainsaw oils, everything it needs, an extra chain. There's an extra chain hanging on the wall there. There's an extra chain there. There's another chain there. I still have work to do, but I made a big difference. This wagon's ready to go out the door. Why did I have that cart there blocking half of the door? There's really no reason for it. I have that cart. I can load tools on it and bring it out to the car if I have to work on it. And also, we will find a spot for it. I have a big rolling toolbox at my mother's house. I need to get here at some point. I plan on putting it right there. You see this flat part of wall right here? I plan on, I'm going to buy some of those hooks I mentioned so I can hang my shovels and rakes up in these empty spots. So that way they're not on the floor and hard to get to. You see there's a lot more space in here now. And there's also tons of shelf space. Which means the next time I come in here and have the time to do this stuff. Yeah, I can make this place very clean with probably only another hour or two. I have all that shelf space. Probably at least two full shelves worth there. Lots of space there. Empty bins. Lots of shelf space there. Empty fridge I could put things in. That box is empty. Uh, I can put something here. That bottom shelf is empty. Yes, there's a lot of potential in here. But I think I did a good job. The log splitter's ready to roll out to do things. The snow blower's ready to roll out in 30 minutes. I'm going to start doing that. This chair is going to leave here as soon as I come in here next time. That pile of stuff on there is all paint related. Giant drill bit to stir a five gallon bucket. Yep. All right. Did a good job cleaning in here. I'm satisfied for today. All right. Time to fire the snow blower up. We probably got eight inches out there so far. I hope today's video was interesting, everyone. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.